kama wewe ni fan wa Kalif Cairo Hanifa Farsafi the Somali lady from Twitter na Boniface Mwangi it is the high time you go to their Twitter pages kama wako Facebook YouTube and uh, TikTok and Instagram the, the best thing you can do for yourself is go to the block button block them report their accounts and even unfollow them and you should never even hear anything they they, they tell you because these people these people they are betrayers you get they are traitors and they betrayed Gen Z we thought they were on our side but these people they were paid now are on the government payroll when i get apparently we are going to start with Karif Cairo Karif Cairo on Tuesday protest alikuwa anajifanya yeye sasa he so he's so patriotic he's so loyal eh? to the to, to Kenya u jamali na mpaka cbd na if you if you saw the pictures on twitter you can attest to this alikuwa mpaka anamwagiliwa maji na jimwagilia maji he wanted to be, to be the face of the maandamano una get he wanted to be the end alikuwa ta julikani kenya ati yeye sasa ndio anaongoza the front line at yeye sasa ni gen z who is going to oppose the government because they are they are killing people they are killing children na hapo sasa these people they were paid then on 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 Thursday on Thursday unakumbuka like the Gen Z was supposed to go to they were supposed to go to state house and even eat and do the the protest but Wednesday Wednesday Karif Cairo recorded a, a five minute video oh advising people of how you should not go to the state house you are going to be killed you the president has withdrawn the the finance bill meaning what meaning this guy has been sold so for the people who don't know amo nyona jo Karif Cairo Karif Cairo anakuwa na kayad iko located wapi iko located Kiambu Road na hapo if you if you have ever been to Kiambu Road you, you can attest to this that Kiambu Road has got almost Kiambu Road is all about kayads when get left and right of the road is all about kayads if we estimate ni kayad kama ngapi kama 20 but but in this real world you can't tell me that Karif Cairo is the only person who is going to be selling three cars three cars per day and that we have other other kayads in Kiambu Road Do you get that logic? Msena uza mpaka Mercedes Benz anauza 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 BMW anauza Toyota like even five cars per day. That can't make sense. It can't be normal. Una get. So there there are some people so the people who usually sponsor and this information is very true. You can go to Cyprian Yakundi. Kalif Cairo was has been alikuwa mexposiwa sometimes back. Una get. The people who sponsor him to for the car they told him to to advise the the followers followers wake they should not go to protest on what on Thursday and that's what he did so remember that Karif Cairo is on the government peril these people they are opportunist they take any any opportunist opportunity to grow their bellies to grow their stomach and they're so greedy my get let's go to number 2 Hanifa Farsafi Hanifa Farsafi alitokea ile time ya floods una get Kenyans wa walikuwa na bebona na bebona mvua so we, we saw a lady who is who is ana piana pebile mchango he's helping the poor he's helping the people who who have no homes una get and we saw oh this is a good lady he's on a, he's on our side he's on the gen z side he's fighting for our rights little did we know that in fact during one of the contribution of the floods the the contribution is like inafika mpaka a million i guess because the people people what what walikuwa na what walikuwa na tumado in fact walikuwa namtumia kwa namba yake walikuwa namtumia kwa namba yake and that's a very big red flag so she used to pocket that money ulikuwa unapata alikuwa ananunua like the the mattress if she receive 500000 alikuwa anatumia 250000 maybe for the mattresses for the people manguo food stuff and stuff when i get then she remains with the rest and apparently and for farsafi is the face of the protest yeye ndio alianzisha unaona on tuesday she alikuwa 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 cbd alikuwa pale archives una get aka mpaka bag yake ikaenda akanyaganya kila kitu so we thought oh hanifa falsafi is on our side little did we know that even hanifa falsafi was paid remember remember easy easy protest ilikuwa za ilikuwa kitorai 45 or orongai so kitorai 45 people contributed because walikuwa nasema knh KNH ilikuwa imejaa people were being shot people were being wounded people walikuwa na mashida people were being in the hospital so apparently Kenyans contributed almost almost 25 million mchanga and you people you can attest to that i'm not lying you can go there and tweet and even search you can go and search this information ini kitu verifiable so Kenyans contributed almost 25 million mchanga mchanga for the people who know mchanga is like a, a kind of a temporary pay bill 
na get kama ya hospitali or maybe donation for something meaning what it can be it can be revoked anytime kama like unakumbuka kama ya floods floods zilishaisha so the pay bill was was done away with the same way with the mchanga so the 25 million iko under hani for far surface hands then they were supposed to go on on protest sasa ilikuwa sasa tasti jana was supposed to march to state house so when ifa comes up with a long thread on twitter saying that saying that we should not oh we should not go to to state house on on to on Thursday you are going to be killed meaning what she had already pocketed the amount of money like it so you people you gen z monona like these people they have the face in fact nobody chose them how to do lichagua in in fact gen z gen z we don't have leaders we don't have leaders we are leaderless because we don't we don't want to build or do not get so hani for falsafi and cairo they are just on the government peron then the last person bonifas mwangi na ningespenda kusema hivi bonifas mwangi is a cloud chaser and he's not a gen z he's a millennial na get is a millennial who is the reason why the country kenya is where it is he's a fake he's a fake person he's a fake sijui at the people's watchman that in fact that that title should be he should erase that title very quickly very very fast without even looking twice because this person remember the the protest were on the protest were on tuesday do you know what happened boniface mwangi went to the streets on wednesday unaenda kwa streets on the wednesday kwa nini that's that's attention you want attention and you have done nothing hakuna kitu imesaidia gen z nayo you on the government peril and you guys nikimalizia hii video this a person on twitter anajiita jacob juma Jacob Juma was killed in the year 2015. Una get like this person has got. Alikuwa na You see you see the tweet the tweets he was tweeting. They are they are coming to pass 100%. Everything that he says is true. Like this one quote he said about about Boniface Mwangi. He said this. The difference between President Ruto and and Boniface Mwangi is very simple. President Ruto cons Kenyans directly. Una get Boniface Mwangi cons Kenyans indirectly through funding. Sio kuna get. So Boniface Mwangi is this person who mwenye anajifanya ni mzuri mbele ya camera so that he can obtain funding. Kumbe this person is on the on the government payroll. So ni namaliza tu video nikisema this people Karif Cairo, Hanifa and uh, Boniface Mwangi they betrayed you Gen Z. They are not on your side. They are being paid and uh, ata I forgot to say this Karif Cairo alikata he rejected the finance bill and I protest ya dust jana because the business the kayat business alikuwa miambio na the the people who in quotes the people who prom, who are the real owners of that business that if he goes to the mandamano on Thursday then as a hobby share and get another company wewe unajua you can't risk that so that's why he decided to backfire and even take the peron so you people don't trust anyone don't trust anyone these people they're just on their government payroll and they don't they don't even care about you 